Hello Sagittarius and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin and Sag, today we're going to do a reading about that person on your mind. Let's talk about this person, shall we Sagittarius? Let's find out first of all how they're feeling about you, what they think about you in the present moment. Let's talk about what they consider the biggest obstacle in this connection. We'll get their actions in the near future. Let's talk about it. We have dishonesty. By lying, I ripped us apart. We have time. I'm afraid it's taken. It's too late to take action. And we have reciprocity. So I want to have an equal give and take. Well, well, well. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going down. Let's see what's up with this person on your mind, subject. Let's talk. We have the King of Swords. That's their feelings for you. Okay. Um, Sagittarius, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like one, the link is in the description box below. And just remember, Sag, my readings are sent in three to five business days. So always check your spam folder. You will never wait longer than that. All right. So we have the King of Swords. That's their feelings for you. Uh, we have the Ace of Cups. That's the biggest challenge and barrier. And the Seven of Pentacles is their actions in the near future. And there's the Hermit. I definitely feel like we're in a no contact. Or there's definitely an emotional or physical withdrawal here with the hermit and the time card. So it might have been a hot minute since you guys have talked or um, talked about your feelings, you know. But the king of swords is how they're feeling about you. Uh, they think you're mad at them. <laughs> uh, you're in the mood for no bullshit. Uh, if they're going to come, they better come right here. What else do you want to say here about this king of swords energy? But with the king of swords, they would, yeah, they think you've withdrawn. They've separated, pulled yourself back. Well, king of cups and the queen of pentacles. Okay, coming in with the water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. There's the Page of Cups. There's the Nine of Wands. They think you're entertaining other people. They feel you've moved on. They feel you're mad at them. They feel you've let this connection go. You are completely withdrawn from their perspective, from their point of view, um, and just focusing on yourself, uh, doing a little bit of self-love here, and uh, entertaining other people, other options. They don't really see you as someone who has been interested in them, <laughs> from what I can see in the cards here. Yeah, Three of Cups. Uh, they think you're moving on and you're dating and involved with other people here, Sag. Okay. So the obstacle is the Ace of Cups. The obstacle would be to express themselves, to open their heart up, to get you to open your heart to them, um, to get a fresh start, to get a new beginning here. That would be the obstacle. Is there anything else you want to say about that for Sag? Ace of Wands. Yeah. Whoa. Three aces in the obstacle. <laughs> Definitely a challenge to reconnect and get this relationship. Yeah. Having the courage and the strength. There's the Two of Wands. They're going to, the two of wands is a card of having to get outside your comfort zone in order to make something happen in your life. So the obstacle is them getting outside their comfort zone, them making some changes here, them initiating this and creating a fresh start and a new beginning. Three aces in the obstacle. So they don't know how to make this happen. So let's see what they do. Uh, Cause we have the seven of pentacles and the seven of pentacles is the card of reflection. Uh, let's see. You know, once they're just going to think about you all the time, <laughs> maybe fantasize, maybe yearn, maybe pine. You could definitely be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. We had the King and the Queen of Pentacles here, Sag. There's the pay. Whoa. Okay. Oh, they're being strategic here. Okay. They thought long and hard about this. They got something, something planned here, but that two of wands. Get ready to be surprised. They got a little something, something planned for you, baby. Um, so you can expect it. This person's been planning it. Here's the moon. You don't see it coming. You don't expect it. The moon is things outside of yourself that are being hidden. There's your message. There's the person messaging. And there's you. So they thought a lot about this. The spark is still there. They've been, they're going to come with some strategy, maybe saying all the right things, doing the right things, maybe even bringing a gift in order to kind of soften things up um, so that you're more receptive to what they have to say here. Um, so what intentions are they coming back with then? What does Saj need to know about that? Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Cups, and Judgment. Whoa. And the star. Wow, they come back with divine timing that you're their destiny. They want to walk away from the past, walk away from their old ways. Uh, if they apologize, this is the sincere apology card for me as a reader. There's a star, wish come true, dream fulfillment. So a lot of major arcana just popped up with their intentions. So their intentions are to change your life here and to change this connection. There's you. Okay, Sag. So they think you're a sexy beast. Queen of Wands is a sexy ass motherfucker in the deck. Um, and they want to fulfill their destiny here and create this relationship with you. It just sounds really crazy the way I said that. I don't know. I've maybe been watching too much Avatar here. But let's get into uh, the oracles. We'll see what they want to say. And uh, we'll get back to the tarot. And we shall see how you feel about this and what you do, Sag. All right. What's the current connection here between Sagittarius and the person on their mind? Past lives. We reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives. So you've known them in lives before. 
So there is a strong soul bond here, a soul connection between the two of you, Said, Let's get the hidden truth. They could say something they're not saying. They want to say they should. May, babe, they shouldn't. Let's find out. I left when I saw you with someone. Probably why they feel you're dating other people. You most likely are. I know that I crossed the line with you. Can they come back from that? I'm starting to understand our connection. And I wonder if you're happy without me. Is it too little, too late, Saj? Is it too little, too late? I just repeated myself. A little glitch in the matrix. But let's find out. Let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, <laughs> there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you want to make here, Sadre. And when I say outcome, let's see how you're doing in a month. Let's see how things are progressing. Let's see what you do. Let's see how you feel. Let's see what goes down. Let's talk about it. That bird flew on the floor, so I shall grab that. Hold on a moment. What is it? Ooh, now the King of Swords in reverse. Okay. We have a two of swords. We got a lot of swords here. King of Swords in reverse is... Not a happy king. Whoa. What way is that? I'm going to take that sideways. Okay. Whoa. Cards are flying everywhere. We got the four of pentacles in reverse. Okay. One more. We got the five of pentacles. Okay. There's the star. That's interesting. There's the ten of swords. And there's the three of cups. There's the ace of swords. I feel that this is up in the air. I think with the king of swords in reverse and the two of swords... You're, you are mad at this person. So whatever the hell they did, they definitely pissed you off here, Saj. And the King of Swords in reverse is someone who's not afraid to tell you that they fucking pissed you off. So I do feel you said what needed to be said here with this King of Swords, whether it was blunt, whether it was harsh, just tough love, whatever it was, you let this person know how you feel. Um, you didn't hold back at all is what I feel. With the crossroads here, there's a two of swords. So there's still a crossroad. There's this decision. This came out kind of sideways here. So you haven't actually made your decision. So you're looking at the past here with the five of pentacles and the four of pentacles and you're wondering, can I forgive? Can I let go of this? Is this a forgivable offense, right? Some things are deal breakers. Some things are just flaws. Something can be forgiven. Some things can't. And I feel for some of you, you will forgive. And I feel for some of you, you won't. I think it's going both ways. Um, we have the three of cups and the ace of swords, which means some of you are realizing the truth about this connection and you will entertain it. You will date them. You will get to know them. But others of you know you're healing from the past breakup. You're not really interested. So I actually see this going both ways. Yeah, there's the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you are jumping right into the relationship and going back with this person. And some of you aren't. So because, so it's an indefinite answer. It's going to be up to you. <laughs> it's not definitive. No, it's not a yes or a no here. So some of you will forgive and allow yourself to progress forward. And some of you will reject this right out, right? And say no, you know, but either way, both situations you are very clear very concise very straightforward about how you feel about what happened so Saj you have a decision to make in a month as to whether you want to forgive this person and progress forward or not all right baby that's what's up that's what I got that's what's going down so Saj if you like your reading if you like my style I do ask that you like comment subscribe it helps my channel to grow thank you Sagittarius I always appreciate your support truly truly I do and let's whoa, we got your answer here let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question are you ready, baby? Let's get it. No, that's what I have, Saj. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.